Here's a chance to Azevedo. Drips it off to Rapoli. Rapoli coming back to Azevedo. Big pad save by Casper. Wow, that's the save of the hockey game there. As Azevedo got that pass back from Rapoli. And uh, <laughs> good save by Casper. Still scoreless thanks to that one in particular. Now the Coyotes keeping it right in. Glimple with a shot. Another one. They score. <laughs> he looks like Brett Jewell was in there to whack that puck into the net. And the Coyotes are up at 11.09. 16 seconds left on the power play. It comes the draw back in there to head. He get it again, he looks. Looked to see if anybody was in front, plays it into Mick. It's, he looks for a give and go, comes back into the corner. They bring it back to the blue line. A shot right in front, scores! Ben Campbell looked like he was wanted to bring it back and put it in behind, and in the course of tried to do that, I think he tipped the puck just underneath, and it slid underneath lug. Just about midway mark through the second period and the hockey game, and we're tied at one. There's the puck bouncing off the boards. It's not going to get up. Eric Austin keeping it in. He can't get a shot away, and the Coyotes get it. Now up to Azevedo. Trailing, there's a long pass over to McLeese. He's coming back right into Rapoli, right in for a shot, SCORES! What a setup on Judd Rapoli, and he simply outweighted Patrick Casper to make the move and took it. And what it in on a move, uh, went to the glove side and put it in on a backhander. But it was really the waiting game on that one and a nice setup by Azevedo McLeese to set up Rapoli the trailer and he made it count. Now back to Ostrom and away they go. Fresh ice plays havoc, doesn't it? Now Ostrom comes up and will dump it down into the court. Casper well out, he's having himself a great a hockey game. Down the ice it goes. Coyotes will start again with Senholt. 23 seconds, look out, There's, there it is, right in front. And a shot and scores! Number 16, Riley Jepson, a shorthanded one. Underneath Brandon Lockett. And you can mark that down to wet ice, folks. Just what I was talking about. They were bringing it out. They hit a patch of that water. It was gravel. They lost the puck. The puck went in the net. That comes at 1.36. We're tied. At 2. That'll be an unassisted goal, too, I would imagine. We'll see how it's ruled. It definitely was the Coyotes coming out that puck just kind of stopped solid on some water on the ice and that was it they never recovered here's the announcement and they score again and they just come in with a backhander and right into the net quickly another shorthanded goal on the same power play the Coyotes get a much needed line change there. They were killing off the penalty and just about had it. Here we come. 2 on one shaping up as they try to get it over right in front. Lock it. They score! Number 15, Riley Cardinal right in front. Wax it in. Sycamore with three goals here in the third period. Go up 4-2. to two. The insurance man did arrive front on a one-timer, back out in front again. Sandholt shot, hits a leg. Eagles are standing up, just trying to make a block in front of their net. Kept them by Azevedo, scores! <laughs> 17 seconds to go, folks. 
The third star from the City News Peebles, number 30, Patrick Casper. The second star from the Mercedes Stars, number 10, Luke Bradisar. And the first star from the City News Peebles, number 15, Riley Cardinal. And that's the first time the Coyotes taste the loss tonight. So that's it, folks. Our next home game is in Oliver Sunday afternoon, uh, the 19th, against uh, uh, the Princeton Posse. We won't be able to televise that one. We don't have a setup in Oliver. Our next game, though, on the web will be back here on Friday, October 24th. Kamloops in town. Hope you enjoyed it tonight. Damian Hanna on the camera doing the usual great job of the shots. He couldn't get us a win. I couldn't get us a win. The Coyotes couldn't get us a win. And the Eagles will have a nice short trip ride home tonight as they're the first team to beat the Coyotes. A well done by the Eagles.